And here we are in our brand new map for our new city build, T-Ville. This map is called Tahonga by Ekania. You can find the link to all the mods that I am using, including the maps, the LUTs, the roads, all those sort of things in the description below. So go and check those out. We are going to be using the real-time mod as well. Um, so it's really going to make it difficult for us traffic-wise. And I'm really looking forward to diving into and building a city here. This is our starting area. And don't forget, if you're looking forward to this city, to leave a like as well. As always, every like means an extra sip of tea for me, which is going to be really needed to make sure that we keep this city traffic-free. As you can see with this map, we've got a lot of exciting areas that I'm looking forward to building. We're going to be starting here. We've got a train line that comes through there so we can set that up. There's lots of different ores and things like that. We've got the ores, we've got farmland, we've got all sorts of things that we can work towards. But we are going to start in this area here. And I just want to check where we have. Let's use the ground resource mods and go like that so we can have a look. Right, so this is going to be our industry side because we're going to work up towards there and this is going to be where our people are going to live and this is the only access to water that we've got along here and also over there as well. Ah, excellent. So I'm thinking we might dump our pollution out into here until we can do something else with it and tidy it up. Let's do the age-old start on a new map. 87% traffic. Fantastic. We have a teeny tiny road to unlock all the other roads that we want to work with. So how about I just get some water stuff set up and some main roadways and then we can get building. Okay, there we go. We have our water set up over here. We're just going to give that some of its own little power, which is good. And then we've got our water input here. I'm using the four lane road to uh, be our main roads going through here at the moment. We can upgrade those later if needed. And as we go along, I want to make sure to check that there we go. Someone's complaining of no power. We haven't got the power set up yet make sure that our roundabouts are set up accurately let us do that we've got all the giveaway signs and all that goodness uh, i don't know how busy this is going to get but we'll put both of these on yeah normally it's only for traffic fixing that i have the one on that goes around the roundabout and not this one but we'll go with that for now that should be good unfortunately we don't have access to any highway roads yet otherwise i would do lane mathematics here three lanes minus one down to two. that lane's going the wrong way that lane is entirely going the wrong way yes there we go so we want people to be able to get into here <laughs> so a little mistake by the map maker there so while things aren't too busy we'll just leave the rest of that as it is now i would like a couple of um roundabouts here and a roundabout there we're going to try and keep things moving as much as possible so we've got the roundabout mod so i want to go this one here that's going to be where our roundabout goes there we go so let's get rid of those and let's get rid of those and then we'll get our roundabout mod and i'm just going to use the normal two-way one-way road that should be perfectly fine. There we go. Excellent. And what size is that? 40. Perfect. We'll just go with that. Excellent. There we go. And as these roads coming off here are sort of like the... Let's turn off the roundabout mod. Uh, main way off of these roundabouts. I'll keep all of these. There we go. As are our four-lane roads. Excellent. 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 And then we'll build off of there. And I want to do the same thing over here as well. There we go. Excellent. So let's see how much that's going to cost us. Not as much as I thought. Excellent. That's good. So we want to really get some people in here. Oh, and by the way, we have the real-time mod. It's not called Rush Hour. It's called Real Time. So keep that in mind. And we're going to set up a little area, I would say, over here. Uh, for people to move in. So we've got to be careful we don't spend all our money before we've even started. That would be a bad idea. Right, I've nearly managed to spend all of my money. I'm just hoping <laughs> that we have enough left just to hook up some power 
Yes, and get some houses in here and actually earn some money. So this is where our housing is going to go, first of all. So let us add this in. And shall I go all the way to the main road? We'll just sort of go to there. And to there. And to there. And that little bit there. And this will be the start of our housing. Let's just see some people moving in. Aha, the houses are going up excellent that's what we want to see so our first coal power plant is going to cost us nineteen thousand, and we've accidentally spent uh, a whole ton of money that we haven't got so what i'm going to do is is just connect that up to there hopefully that will do for now yay there we go there we go and then we just gotta wait for all the cars to turn up right pretty sure i missed all the houses coming in because we do have some population we're making some money i'm also using the auto budget mods uh which hopefully will work okay and give everybody enough power when we need it we shall see how that goes uh, we do certainly have some more needs so let's keep that going now with the real-time mod people will walk out and go and get food they want to go shopping they want to do all sorts of things at various times of the day yeah the auto power mod isn't quite giving me enough over here look so i just need to up that myself i probably need to change some settings on that that's fine so we want to make sure that there's shops and access for these guys really easy to get to um yeah to try and all the time we're going to be keeping in mind keeping the traffic nice and low now i'm going to put another road over here i wouldn't normally put these junctions so close together but to be honest it's not going to be that busy over here, so I'm not too concerned. Right, so we're getting the shops moving in, which is great. They're going to be complaining about a lack of water because I don't have all the pipes in. And then we want to get some industry going as well on the other side. Uh, what is our first target that we're going towards at the moment? 460. So we're literally a couple of people away, which is fantastic. So our industry is going to go over here. And we're going to do the same. We're going to have a few little roundabouts dotted around the place to make sure that access is okay. Traffic flow is perfectly fine. And we're out of money. Oh, we're making money now. Look at that. Plus 296. We're so close to getting some more people. Oh, here, look. Here's all the cars coming in. Do you know what? I didn't think they had. Woohoo. Look. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now we have some cars. We're rocking and rolling. We've got lots of walking going on. Perfect. Excellent. So we should hit the target anytime soon. And what I'm going to do just to try and help that happen is I'm going to fill all of that in with houses. And we definitely need some more power. I just don't think we're making enough and we don't have enough money. Oh, mamma mia. Do you know what I'm going to do? Is I'm just going to tax everybody. And we can't do taxes either. No. <gasps> Have I backed myself into a... I mean, we're making money. Yes, yeah, so we can do it. Quick, let's have another one in. Uh, nice place with a nice hill. Look at that. Look at all these hills. That is outside of our build area. Oh, auto save. Sip of tea. Mm -mm -mm. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll just add this one down here with the other one. Four megawatts. Yeah, there we go. That'll do. That'll keep everybody busy for now. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We need to fulfill the demand for industry before anything else is going to happen. So I'm just going to chuck some industry down down here. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, yeah, excellent. I picked the spot where they've got water. That is really good. I'm just going to go across there like that. Spend some more money that I haven't got. And as soon as we fulfill all these industry needs, and I don't really want them all along the main road over here, so I'm not going to do that, then everybody will be happy. And we can make sure that they've got some power as well, and that will work absolutely perfectly. There we go. The power kicks in. We've got a little bit of industry. And then you can see over here, the other needs start kicking in as well. So now we're going to get more people moving, and we have hit the population target. So now we can do taxes. We can get loans. We've got healthcare. So we need to start getting money coming in so we can do all of these lovely things. And we've got 22,355 already, which is fantastic. Did I put houses in there? I did. Uh, I might just sort of finish off this road up here. 20, uh, 21%? No, 91% traffic flow. That is really good. We'll just sort of fill that bit there. And I might keep that for some shops. So let's put that in so it's nice and nearby. And like I said... Oh, we don't have walking paths yet. I'm going to come back and put walking paths around here. And I'm going to have walking paths coming over here. And I'm going to have some road connections this way. 
So we're not going to make the mistake that a lot of people do where they have everything going through one junction from one side to the other. But we'll get to that. So let me mark out some more roads here. Spend the money that we don't have much of. And then I will be back with you. Okay, so this is the road that we're going to have going over the top. It's uh, another one of these four-lane roads. This may change into a roundabout at some point. We shall see. I'm not planning to have too much coming off of this road. But it also means that our pedestrians, our citizens, can walk over the top of this road. Duck underneath the power cables. Don't worry, all the power cables will end up disappearing at some point. That's fine. And then we're using the two lane roads for our roundabout so they can walk. Because I'm planning ahead. I'm not planning to have too much traffic going around the roundabout. So we don't need the three lane roads and all that sort of thing. This is going to be a nice little industry area in here. So let me get that marked out. So here we're going to go all the way along this side section. But we're not going to have anything on the main road here. So no trucks and cars are going to stop there. Which is, yeah, exactly what we want. Let's also fill up this area here. Do you know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm going to remove these power cables from there. And we're going to hook in down here. Now, I do have the mod installed, but I don't think I've got it enabled where the roads give you power instead. But we'll go with this for now. This will be fine. And then I'm going to fill this bit up, up here. Excellent. And then, as you can see, that then gives a need for our residential demand. So I do have Demand Master installed, but I won't be using that. There we go. And that's going to start filling out this area here. Right, we've got other needs we need to take care of. We can see they can start, uh, they're can start. starting to complain because we've unlocked our landfill sites and stuff. Now, the landfill is going to go over here out the way somewhere. Um, let's have a look. In fact, I'm going to put it right over here. Let's have a look. Whoa, what's that? What is that thing? A garbage snake. Wow. Okay, looks like we're using garbage snakes. Fantastic. And now we have loans unlocked as well. I am going to grab a loan just so we can take care of our power needs, which are getting a little bit ridiculous at the moment. So we're going to have a coal power plant over there. There we go. We'll hook all of this up. Excellent. Auto budget should take care of that. Let's have a look. We put that back on auto and we should all be fine. Yep, there we go. Excellent. Trash will be taken care of. And then what else was unlocked? Health as well. So it shouldn't be too long before we have enough for our medical clinics and our schools. Okay, we have enough money for our medical clinic. So let us add that. We're going to put that one up here because some people are getting sick. And it's not going to be long before the city starts waking up. It wakes up at 6 o'clock. And then 9 o'clock, everybody goes to work. There they go. Look, they're all going. They're all going out and back in again. <laughs> and now they're going off around the city. Excellent. That's what you want to do. Start taking care of some of these sick people. Excellent. I think it's 1,400 citizens. Yeah, to unlock uh, paths. We have got this walk-in area here, which is fine. So it is just a case of letting the city run, taking care of the needs that we've got. So we're going to have another area down here for people. So let us add that in as well. And you know what I'm going to do? Just to earn a little bit of money quickly, we're going to whack all the taxes up from 9% and keep it like that for a few seconds. We might lose a few people, but at least we'll gain some money quickly and then we can drop it back down again. As soon as we've unlocked parks, we are going to be making more money than we will know what to do with. No traffic. Look at that. No traffic anywhere. Even though it's only a small city, that is very good. That mean, I mean, hardly any cars. That just means lots of people are walking and probably losing citizens now. So let's drop this back down to 9% again. Yay, Worthy Village. 900 people. We can unlock another square. We've got districts, loans, police department. So these things are services we're certainly going to have to take care of. Now we can start getting into forestry and agriculture. We've already seen where some of that is. So I'm going to keep filling up this area as we've been going. Uh, that's right. There we go. I want to leave some of this open for parks as well. Oh, and we've hit Tiny Town as well. 1,400 and we're unlocking all sorts of things. Wow, we are flying through this. This is absolutely fantastic. Whoa. We've unlocked tons of stuff. So I want to just take care of some of the needs that we've got at the moment. And then schools is the next thing as well. So we've got the... That is a pretty big high school. We've also got this small elementary school. 
So we are now going to add a way to make an absolute ton of money from all of our citizens. There we go. A path across here that they are going to have to pay to use. Yes, that's right. So let's go to our city park. Uh, we need to put a district down. We need to put a park area. Oh, auto save, sip a tea. Wonder what was going on there for a second. There we go, Birdsong Gardens. We're going to just pop that along there. That will do for now. And then we'll come in here and we want small park main gate. Is that the small one? Yes, it is. The fact that it's called small, that sort of gives it away. And then we've got a park side gate, which is going to be down here, there. And then this is going to run up and over. That is far too high, but we shall sort that out in a moment. Let's just use the move it mod. We're going to grab that node, that node, and that node. Control H. All the same height as that. Look at that. Fantastic. So this is now a park, a way to go across. Uh, there are people going across here, but what we're going to do is do we have an option to change that to a road where they can't walk across? Not at the moment. So I am going to ban people from going across here. Can I do that even? No, I can't. Darn it. Oh, and we've got despawning. No, let's turn that off. I didn't even realize I had that on. Uh, it wouldn't have made any difference. We haven't got enough traffic to despawn. So I don't want people to walk that way. I would like them to walk over this. Oh, and they're doing it anyway. Look. Look at that. So let us get this Birdsong Gardens. Whack the price up on there. There we go. And that is going to be making us an absolute ton of money. Let's just speed this up a bit. Oh, listen to everybody upgrading. We grow in so quickly. This is fantastic. Look. Nice, nice, nice. But as you can see, people are quite happily walking through here anyway. Let's just check they're using the gates on both sides. Yeah, and they're actually doing that rather than walking over there. Look at that. So in the game, that must be weighted for them to prefer going through parks than walking down roads. So perfect. And then I would like another one over here when we start filling up this area as well. But I think that will be good for now. Uh, it says income zero, but once it goes past a full week, that will update. Fantastic. And then we could start putting some uh, parks and things in here as well. There we go. Just thought I'd add that little tiny park in there. We've got some of the gates on there. I mean, it's not going to be used that much, but I just think it looks nice there with a few trees as well. Let's just see how much money we're making from our walking over the bridge park over here. Still zero. Come on now. We've had lots of visitors. Total visitors until next level eight. Hmm. And we've got some fires going on. No. Do we not have fire services over here? Uh, let's plop one right in the middle of this road here so they can get around. There we go. Excellent. Please go and solve that problem as soon as you're ready. Whenever you're ready. The buildings are literally falling down around your ears. Please go now. What is your problem? Not operating. Do you not have water? You've got water. Do you not have power? Operating normally. Fire trucks. Have I got to click that? The fire's gone out. You, you're too flipping late. That's that's your problem. Uh, never mind. And now we've got access to paths. I want to make sure that everywhere that we can add a path in, uh, we do so. So people can walk around nice and easily. So we're going to connect all the roads like that. Uh, we've got this path going over here, which is fine. But I would like to connect. Sorry, house. Uh, and sorry house. I'd like to connect those roads. We can connect these ones down here for help getting around when that becomes more of a need. Sorry, 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 sorry. And we're going to do these ones here as well. I'm going to do it now while I think of it because later on in the game it is certainly going to be something Oh, we've got that nice upgraded building. It's gone. It's gone. Yeah, we've done that one. I think that should be fine. Well, things are growing nicely. All the needs are being taken care of. We're making money and we are growing. I would like to finally hit one more target. So let's just take a look where we're up to. 1,878. We have a huge need. 
for more people. And the next target is 2,400. So I am going to build another new area along here. We're going to fill this up with people. And then we're going to see what happens next. Well, you know what happens next. I'm going to hit the next target. But you know what I mean? Here comes a time lapse. We've hit Boomtown. You've probably heard all the cars. All the cars. All the cars are turning up and all the houses are upgrading. Now we can buy more squares. We've got bus transport, postal services. We've got all sorts of things we can now add, add or specialization. We really want to start getting into some farming and some or specialization and stuff like that. So we can really start making some money. Although we are not doing it too shabby at the moment. Here come all the cars into the new areas that we've set up. And we've still got, let's have a look, over 90% traffic, which is absolutely brilliant. Obviously, I need to put a load of footpaths and things around here to get them moving along. So what options do we have for industry? Well, we've got this little farming area down here that we could build on. That's within our first zone because we still haven't bought any more squares yet. We've got across the river here, we've got oil and farming. Uh, which will be worth taking a look at. Over here, we've got ore as well, which is always good. So we've got a lot of options. Ore and oil. Uh, access here nicely to the highway. We could have a road coming off of there, particularly for those. They could connect up with this. That could easily connect up with that one and make us some money. So what do you reckon uh, we should do for a nice big area? If we look at the map this way, so we'll say our city is north. There we go. Shall we go for... We're limited, aren't we? We've got farming and ore. Yes, we need another load of population. So farming and ore. So there you go. There are your options. Let me know in the comments below. This side for ore, this side for farming. see how things are going with the money in our city uh, we should be making a reasonable amount of money up almost just over one and a half thousand which is good our population is growing and if we have a look in this tab here we can see our parks and plazas uh, expenses are 330 yeah i was going to say that's what the money is they're making us but it, it isn't is it that's the expenses our parks made us 40 dollars oh there we go so not making as much money as i thought with the people crossing over this path over here, I've got a slight feeling that maybe the real-time mod is slightly messing with that. Because as you can see, plenty... Whoa. You went around the outside of the gate. <laughs> what? The other people didn't. But there's no connection to the path there. Let's look at them coming out this side. And you went outside the gate as well. What the heck? What the monkeys is going on? They shouldn't be able to do that. Look. It's not connecting to anything. 
What? Okay, how about we do that? Let's just see. So now you go through. Let's speed it up a bit. Now you definitely go through without going around the outside. So maybe it's just a little case of having to move it. And now you're going around the outside. Let's go back a bit. Now you go through the middle. Now that is really weird. That is really, really weird. I'm going to do the same thing here. Let's move them back a, a little tiny bit. Shouldn't do that because they should snap to the side. Are we now suddenly making money in our birdsong gardens? Let's have a look. Come on, select. Yeah, now we're making money. Mmm, that is... Look, tons of people coming through. And as they come out the other side, look, now we're making even more money. I can't believe that's the thing. So we're now making even more money, which is absolutely brilliant. Let me know in the comments below which industry we shall go for next. And that's what I want to do with this series. Keep it interactive. Get you guys and girls involved in voting. So don't forget, check out the community posts on a regular basis too. I'm going to put some polls up there. And yeah, we're going to build this city together. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you very soon for the next episode. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.